Uh, in this video, I'll be explaining about uh, why the lymph nodes in the armpit or axilla are enlarged. Uh, in last few days, in particularly last 10 or 12 days, I have uh, seen 10 or 15 queries about the enlargement of the lymph node so i thought that i should make a video on this topic uh, uh, but before going into the detail uh, what are the reasons for lymph node enlargement i believe that i should explain what basically a lymph node is because uh, uh, when we study in school when we study cl in class one two or three we do study about heart kidney brain but we we never study about lymph node uh, most of the people haven't heard about what a lymph node is so that's why I believe that first of all I should explain what a lymph node is and then I'll explain what are the reasons for the enlargement of the lymph node. In simpler words lymph nodes are the filters in our body. Uh, at, at different places in our body we have some filters they are very small in size like a size of a pea or a pulse and uh, their function is to filter the cancer, filter the infection, filter any allergy or filter any irritation. Uh, whenever a person develops an infection, suppose a person has an infection of a fingertip. So continuously the infectious cells are going into the blood and those infectious cells want to conquer the whole body. But on the other hand, a body do not want those cells to spread. So we have some lymph nodes and those lymph nodes basically filter those cancerous cells or the pus cells and don't let them spread in the body. So these are the functions of the lymph node. What a lymph node is. Uh, let, me, uh, let me again uh, uh, repeat it. To uh, filter the infection, to filter the cancer, to filter the irritation or to filter the any allergy. Similarly, we have some lymph nodes in our armpit. The, the medical term for armpit is axilla, so I'll use the word axilla. We have around 30 to 40 lymph nodes in an axilla, in an armpit and the function of those lymph nodes is to filter the blood which, see, blood comes from heart and supplies the entire hand and the breast but that blood do not directly goes back to the heart. Instead of going back to the heart, that blood first filters in an armpit, the, uh, the lymph nodes in the armpit filters all these infections and cancer and then that blood returns back to the heart for the repumping. If, if lymph nodes wouldn't be there, then what would happen? That infection or that cancer or that allergy will spread to the entire body. So what basically happens? From the tip of a finger to the tip of a shoulder and the breast, they have some filters and we have some filters in our axilla, in our armpit, and the cancer and the infections get uh, filters through those lymph nodes. So three minutes have passed and I hope I have explained what basically a lymph node is. Now coming back to the topic, the reasons for the lymph node enlargement. You must have seen fruits on the tree. Not every fruit is of same size. Some fruits are big, some fruits are small. Similarly, we do not have, uh, all the fingers are not of same size. Similarly, in our armpit, there are around 30 to 40 lymph nodes and all of them are not of same size. It's natural to have some lymph node enlarged. It's, it's natural. If you have one or two lymph nodes enlarged, it's natural. What basically happens whenever a woman goes for an ultrasound of her breast, with the breast, we always do the ultrasound of the axilla. The ultrasound of the breast comes out to be normal, but uh, the report says that you have one or two lymph nodes enlarged in the axilla. So the women get worried and they, they are in so much anxiety that why our lymph nodes are enlarged. So that's why I'm making this video. So the most commonest reason is it's natural. Just like you do not have all fingers equal, you do not, you do not have all lymph nodes to be of equal size. It's natural to have one or two lymph nodes enlarged. Nothing to worry. That's the most commonest reason. Coming back to the second reason, people who chew their nails, who bite their nails basically. What basically happens when we bite our nails, we develop small cuts around our fingertips and what happens? 24-7 the germs goes through those cuts. Germs means, germs means infection and whenever that infection goes into our uh, fingertips, that infection wants to spread into the body. But what are lymph nodes in the axilla are doing? They are filtering out those infection. So uh, biting the nail, uh, nail biting habit is the second most commonest reason for having an enlarged lymph nodes. Uh, coming back to another reason, uh, using the makeup products, cosmetic products like nail polish. Some women are allergic to nail polish because they work as an irritant. Uh, some makeup products like moisturizer and there are very many makeup products which women usually apply to their hands. And they do not know that though that, that that particular makeup product is causing an irritation and that also causes lymph nodes to be enlarged. Waxing the hair is also one of the reason. When you wax your hair, when you pull out your hair, what basically you are doing? You are giving trauma to the hair follicles. 
and when the hair follicles get trauma the lymph node gets enlarged so it's one of the one of another reason uh, coming back to another reason uh, having some cut having some injury having some fracture uh, some women have sore nipples what uh, when they feed their babies sometimes baby bite the nipples and the same procedure which which is happening while biting the nails when the baby bite the nipples the infection uh, the germs goes through the nipples and the lymph nodes start filtering out those germs so in that case the lymph nodes also gets enlarged so this is one of the reason uh, let me recapitulate it for you in 90% of the cases if you have enlarged lymph node or you have one or two lymph nodes enlarged and they are less than 2 cm in size then you have it's it's nothing to worry it's not a sign of worry it's natural because of your nail biting habit or naturally you have one or two enlarged lymph nodes it's not a sign of worry it's not a red flag you shouldn't be worried about it so these were the uh, reasons which you shouldn't be worried about now let's come to the reason which uh, which which are a red flag and which you should be worried about sometimes in the report it's mentioned that the size of the lymph node is greater than 2 cm and multiple lymph nodes are enlarged instead of having one or two lymph node enlarged sometimes there are six or seven or 12 lymph nodes are enlarged that's a sign of worry that's a red flags and when that happens the most commonest reason particularly in my country i'm from pakistan so the most commonest reason in pakistan india bangladesh sri lanka is tb tuberculosis it's not common in the western countries but in but in our country south asia tb is the most commonest reason for having an enlarged lymph nodes uh the, the 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 dangerous one and now i'm talking about the dangerous ones uh second most dangerous reason breast cancer if a woman have breast cancer then there are chances that that breast cancer the, those lymph nodes has filtered out those uh, that cancer cells and they have become too much enlarged and multiple lymph nodes are enlarged so if you are having multiple lymph nodes are enlarged and they are greater than 2 cm in size then there are chances that you might be having breast cancer uh third most commonest reason which is among the dangerous ones uh having the cancer of these lymph nodes it's called lymphoma uh, some people have lymphoma that's the cancer of these lymph nodes and these lymph nodes gets enlarged so this is the third most dangerous reason for having an enlarged lymph node so uh, let me end this video it has already become too lengthy almost 8 minutes so uh, what i have explained this in this video the non dangerous reasons for having an enlarged lymph nodes and the dangerous reasons for having an enlarged lymph nodes in 90% of the cases they are non dangerous reasons you should be you shouldn't be worried about but if your lymph nodes are significantly enlarged in size like greater than 2 cm in size then you should really be worried and you should consult your doctor so i hope this uh, video is useful still if you have any queries regarding any breast issue or breast pathology you can contact me on my instagram id thank you